Hey, it's Melinda. As we all know, ransomware can result in major data loss, and nobody wants that. So for this video, we'll demonstrate how to set up a TerraStation backup task to a TerraStation connected USB drive to keep your data safe. So first, we'll take a look at the share folder setup. As you can see, there are several share folders already. So in this demo, we'll back up the DC server backup share, which has server data backup using the Nova backup software, which is included with all of our Terra stations. Also, the external USB drive that's connected is listed here and ready to be used as a backup target. We don't need to change any settings here, so we can just exit this page. Now we're going to set up the backup job. So navigate to the backup tab and then configure the backup setting. Then go ahead and add a new job. Just name the backup task, whatever you like. At the scheduled drop down, select how often the backup task needs to run and set up the date and time. For example, we want the backup to run daily at midnight. Then at the operation mode drop down, select the type of backup. We'll use management backup, which allows only files that have been changed to be copied or deleted on the target. It's useful for keeping different file versions with limited backup space. Also notice that for management backup, the target should only be local share or a connected USB drive. We'll leave the following settings as default and go ahead to set up the backup folders. So click add. Select the backup source folder and the destination USB disk. You can also select to backup to a local folder instead. Also notice that permissions cannot be backup while we are using NTFS format USB drive. Now the backup job has been set up. So after a few backup schedules, let's check the USB disk share located on the Terra station. As you can see, the data has been scheduled to backup to the USB drive. So let's check the USB drive space from the Terra station. And since management backup will not copy unchanged data, it saves a lot of disk space after several backup schedules. Also, the backup files are set with read only, which can prevent being changed by ransomware. Even if your server and source share have been attacked by ransomware, you're still able to retrieve the data from previous backup versions. Next, we'll demonstrate how to set up a backup task from a TerraStation 5410 to another TerraStation of the same model. First, we're going to set up our backup target TerraStation. So navigate to Folder Setup, and we'll need to create a share folder to be the backup target. So name the share folder whatever you like, and the thing to keep in mind here is that the backup box needs to be enabled. Otherwise, the share folder can't be detected as a backup target by the source Terra station. Also, we suggest setting up the backup device access key for data security so that the share folder will not show up as a backup source or destination to any other Terra station unless they have the access key. So click OK and it'll take us to a tab to set up the key. Just enter the characters that you want to use as the access key. Set the folder to be read only to avoid backups being changed by ransomware.
and once completed just click OK to finish. So now we can see that the share with backup enabled was created. And you can go ahead and exit this page. Next we'll navigate to the network tab and expand service port restrictions. We'll need to make sure backup was enabled on the LAN port that we use for backup. In our case, we only enable port three, which is our 10 gigabit port. Now we're gonna set up the backup job from the source tear station. So navigate to the backup tab and then configure the backup setting. We'll need to enter the backup device access key that we set up on the target tear station. Otherwise the target share can't be detected here. Then go ahead and add a new job. Just name the backup task, again, whatever you want to name it. At the scheduled dropdown, select how often the backup task needs to be run and set up the date and time. For example, we want the backup to run daily at midnight. At the operation mode dropdown, select the type of backup. To protect backup files against ransomware, we'll use normal backup to backup to a remote Terra station. This will keep different full backup versions remotely and can be restored anytime whenever needed. We'll leave the following settings as default and go ahead to set up the backup folders. So click add. If the target Terra station backup folder that you created doesn't show up here, we'll need to refresh the list and usually this will take some time. Once finished, go ahead and select the local source folder and the destination, which is the folder we just created on the target Terra station. Click OK to finish. Now we have everything ready and the remote backup job is shown on the list. So after a few backup schedules, we can navigate and check the target Terra station share. As you can see, the data with several versions has been backed up to the target Terra station. Also, they have read-only permissions that can keep backup files safe from ransomware attacks.